Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And today we're going to be hopping into a film called A Serious Man. I'm excited for this because uh, this is written, or I believe all just, just has to do with the Coen brothers. And that's really exciting. If you guys are new to this channel, um, I highly recommend watching the other films that are directed by these guys and just you know see how involved I am with each and every one of their films. I think they are really damn good with just capturing uh, the nuances and more so the mundaneness of things. And I feel like that's so important. Um, as much as filmmaking can really craft these incredible stories where it feels like every frame is important, every frame is, is like a paradigm shift, but what I love about the Coen brothers is not only they can do that because they have done that before, but they also create films such as Fargo um, where they can explore more of the subtleties of things, more of the nuances uh, within characters that can lead to these bigger events. And that's really cool. I love that style of storytelling because it, it makes it feel almost like a French, uh, a French wave of cinema. There's a feeling of you're not sure what could happen and that's really exciting the beats are different the rhythm is different so um before we hop into this i also want to clarify that we are looking at certain aspects of filmmaking and uh we recently did a uh, recommendations list and it's primarily focusing on uh, screenwriting you know writing the script and i'm excited to digest and see how this film fluctuates and the rhythm that is kind of portrayed throughout the Coen Brothers style of filmmaking. So it's really exciting, hence why I said the things that I said beforehand, because I truly do believe like there's there's a lot of life that can be presented within the script. There's a lot of beats, there's a lot of uh, rhythms, and you know, it, it's been such a blast for the past couple of films that we've watched of me, you know, focusing on that. So if you see and notice that my commentary is a little bit more geared towards the screenwriting, towards the script, towards the actors and how they're acting and how I'm portraying it back to the script. That's primarily why. I'm still gonna be acknowledging the cinematography and other aspects of filmmaking, but I'm specifically going to be on the lookout for um, that aspect of filmmaking. So if you guys have any questions, hope that answered it. But guys, again, if you wanna be able to support this channel, the best way to do it is through Patreon. You can also support this channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And at the end of the day, you don't have to do any of those things. You can just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into A Serious Man. Again, got my, uh, my notebook. I'm gonna be writing my notes down there. I'm gonna do my best. Hope I'm getting better with like balancing it you know, commentary, writing notes, then saving what I have to say at the end of the video. So, yeah, it's been good so far. I've been liking this method, actually. I might carry it over even after, you know, focusing on just screenwriting. Script writing, not screenwriting. That's crazy. <laughs> Receive with simplicity everything that happens to you. All right. Basically meaning, you know, don't don't think too deeply. <laughs> so if you if you're going through some existential stuff, read that quote. <laughs> this is interesting. This is so interesting. I was not ready for this. But that's good. What a laugh that was. That was great. <laughs> that was a good laugh. Well, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what type of weapons y'all got, but y'all better grab something, man. Yeah, that's creepy. Man, Man, this is awkward as heck. <laughs> this is awkward as heck. This dude just walked in, <laughs> acting like he was somebody else. I feel nicht as I get. I will. A man steht in a mitzvah, and as I bedanks to him. Man, yo, what the heck? What? 
This is so interesting. I was not ready to dive into this. This is weirdly funny, though. <laughs> That was a really cool opening. That was a very cool opening. I have no idea how it relates to that quote. <laughs> but I guess we're going to find out. Every time I see this dude, it, he reminds me of Joaquin Phoenix. But <laughs> he he's also the guy from uh, Fargo Season 3, right? <laughs> I wonder what type of genre this is. This seems like it's gonna be like almost like a comedy, which will make sense because Fargo is is like a dark comedy as well. <laughs> Yo, man. Yeah, <laughs> I feel for this kid. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Tells how it really works. That's the, the real thing. The stories I give you in class are just illustrative. They're like fables. <laughs> he said. <laughs> they made Tom again. I know now it covered the mathematics. Well, the other students wouldn't like that, would they? If one student gets to retake the test till he... Secret test. No. <laughs> oh, my God. A secret test have to bite the bullet on this thing clive and this is interesting i'm very interested in seeing how this how this spirals inward uh, good how you been si oh fine can we talk larry what you uh hello i uh larry? called wait what did he just try to bribe him did he just bribe him are you kidding me yo are you <laughs> that's that's insane that's insane. <laughs> this is so interesting. This is so interesting because everything I said at the intro, I feel is going to like somehow come to fruition here. It's taking everything that I love about the Coen brothers and just kind of almost feels like it's hyper focusing on this. The setting feels a little bit smaller. In short, I think it's time that we start talking about a divorce. Wow. Okay. Wow. A what? A ritual divorce. He says it's very important. Without a get, I'm an aguna. <laughs> a what? <laughs> He's like, what is going on? And I'm right there with him. What the heck is an aguna? But that's like pretty that's that sucks <laughs> that really sucks like we're making light of it but to kind of go back to the quote that we started off in the beginning i guess that's the way to do it i guess we had i think a good talk the other day but you left something i didn't leave it <laughs> yo get out of here man <laughs> he, he answered so quickly Mia, sir, my sir? Mia. Actions have consequences. He was very keen on that. And it seemed like almost like his moral code. That's what it felt like. I feel like if things go outside of the mathematics for him, it, he, he just doesn't know what to do, which is reasonable. <laughs> Anything that is just not normal to us is going to cause some stress. Can I get F true? Larry, the children know. Do you think this is some secret? Do you think this is something we're gonna Dad, keep Uncle quiet? Arthur's in the bathroom again. Jesus, man. My goodness. They're doing a great job at just showing chaos, man. <laughs> he 
Ruby's in this too. There's a lot of really cool people in this film. Let it breathe 10 minutes. Letting it breathe, so important. Thanks, Sai, but I, I'm Listen, I'm not... I insist, Larry, there's no cause. Oh my God, yo. I think I'm starting to see a very interesting thing with this character. Wow, the way that was just shot with no words was <laughs> like all you that's all you need to, that's all you need to hear, I guess, <laughs> to understand it. That's funny as hell. <laughs> what I wanted to say is that I'm noticing um what I've actually have highlighted is not doing anything and actions have consequences. And I feel like this guy, he's he just doesn't he, he doesn't do anything. And so he gets bombarded with a bunch of things. And I guess he doesn't take them seriously if I were to relate it to the movie. It's interesting. I'm excited to see this play out. I also want to say, too, I really love the color grade of this film. Oh, damn, that's... He's gonna fall off the roof if he keeps this up. Larry? Hi. I wonder how he feels about that. That was interesting. I don't know that math at all. <laughs> uh, uh, denigrating you and uh, urging us not to, uh, not to grant you tenure. Why? What? Why? What the heck? They're basically trying to F him over. Everything seems to be effing him over. Question about that. Uh -huh. Let me reiterate. No cause for concern. Uh, I only speak because odd concealing it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my thing is that he doesn't, he, he's not like, he's just not confronting. He's not standing up for himself. But he's, ah, man, it's so interesting. I have a lot of things that are in my mind. But I'm just going to let this film play a little bit more out because I don't want to sound crazy. But I think I feel like I, I know what's happening here. You can tell it's... Lines of poplar. What's going on? Nothing. Larry? Yeah? You go to Seagull's... Man, there is so much happening. It just feels like his his life is just out of order. It's It's, it's out of order. And... Him not understanding the mathematics of his life is also interesting, too, if I were to relate back to the previous conversation. <laughs> this dude's size always hugging him. Why is he always hugging him? <laughs> this actor is hilarious, man. The children not being contaminated with the tension... Most important. We shouldn't put the kids in the middle of this, Larry. You're gonna take his kids away too? Dude, you better plant your foot down. Absolutely not. It's Child's bar mitzvah, Larry. Sai and I think it's best if you move out of the house. <laughs> move out? Oh my god, bro. If there's any time to be a serious man, it's now. Dad! My knees die. Go to crash. Could you crash? <laughs> what? He did leave the money. This is defamation. It doesn't make sense. Either he left the money or he didn't. Please, accept the mystery. Did he just say, accept the mystery? <laughs> man, dude, this guy's life is just... Oh, man. I would have lost my mind. I'd be an enemy of the state by then. That I thought was one way, turns out to be another. Mm. Then it's yep. an opportunity to learn how things really are. Yeah, I think that's his thing. He's not he's not forcing himself to confront and, and learn the absurdities of the world. Like you can't just sit by and let chaos just annihilate you. Me to cover for him. Come on in. Damn, they are really good at that. 
just cutting to a, a front shot, <laughs> a profile shot, man, it's just good. It's good. Reminds me of Wes Anderson, too. You just need to remember how to see him. Am I right? I mean, the parking lot here. I'm sure all, all, all the people, all the, the Jewish audience, you guys are probably getting a kick out of this. You, you guys are getting a kick out of this. <laughs> a problem. A thing. She is seeing Cy Abelman. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm like, yeah, man, you probably should have listened a little more. And always right, but he's always the boss. <laughs> That's right. Things aren't so bad. Look at the parking lot, Larry. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Just look at that parking lot. <laughs> Oh my god, man, the characters in this film are just cracking me up. I'm I'm sorry that I'm laughing so much. Settling for the routine, tired old whale. Thanks. Really? I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> He's like, huh. <laughs> Violated the marriage contract? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. Although she is planning to marry Cy Abelman, but they- Cy Abelman? Yo, why does everybody know Cy Abelman? What the heck? Little bastard, you gonna send your mother next? Little bastard, I wanna see you! Oh, man. Oh, damn. Yikes, that's, damn, that's, not gonna make his life any better. <laughs> Antenna Abraxas? You request the main selection at the retail price by doing nothing. It's automatically mailed to you. But this theme of doing nothing, this theme of doing nothing and him still getting screwed over is just consistent as hell. And it's freaking him out. Well, is it F Troop? No, mom's real upset. Oh my God, did that other guy, did Cy die as well too? Did he die too? Because they were hinting at something happening with his car. But then, I don't know. Somebody has to pay for Cy's funeral. Uh -huh. His own estate is in probate. You are not about to pay for his funeral. No, don't you, stop it. Dude, come on. So what does it all mean? What is... Hashem trying to tell me, making me pay for Cy Abelman's funeral. Mm. And did I tell you I had and a... And those are answers you can't get... Those are questions you can't get answers to. Seeking other messages, he finds none. He looks in his own mouth. Nothing. He looks in his wife's mouth. I think what I'm getting from this is that he's just trying to make sense of it, you know? Maybe it's just not us for us to make sense of. Tell me, Rabbi, what can such a sign mean? <laughs> so, what did you tell him? Right, like, what, what was the answer to that? <laughs> These questions that are, hmm. that are bothering you, Larry, maybe they're like a toothache. Yeah, I, it feels like Larry has some existential, like, he's just existential. A first-class VIP lounge where we get milk and cookies to eternity. Lam Haba is in the bosom of Abraham. Wait a minute. What? Wait, what? Is in the bosom of Abraham? Wait a minute. Wait. Well, hmm. she has retained Barney Silver at, uh, at Tuckman Marsh. I feel so... Sad for this dude, man. I, I I feel for this guy. I feel like a fly on the wall witnessing this guy just getting blindsided by just all the unexpectedness of life. Well, how how about it, Rabbi Marshak's convenience? Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, what could I give? You? It really is heartbreaking that he really can't. He he can't express himself. You know, he's just being hunkered down. 
H bar, okay? The uncertainty principle. It proves we can't ever really know what's going on. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's a that's a great shot right there. I'm a serious man, Larry. I know that, so if I've got it wrong, what do so I- So simple. C, Marsha. Receive everything with simplicity. I fucked your wife, Larry. I seriously <laughs> fucked her. Yo! Whoa! Yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta rage, bro. You gotta rage. <laughs> Can I help you? You wanna come in? No. I, it's cooler. Oh. Damn. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever. Ch chores that you done? Or just help with something? I've decided to help others, you know? Bro, she has not blinked. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> bro, you are in the spider web right now, man. Homie is lifted. <laughs> I'm actually happy he's smoking because my man's life was stressful, man. Damn. Went in for a drink. Uh huh. Does Arthur drink? No. Uh huh. <laughs> man, I love every character in this film. This film is contagious with how just <laughs> captivating it is. Is he okay? He having a heart attack? Oh, God. <laughs> That's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> that is not supposed to be that funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez, man. He can't get a break. Wednesday? Uh-huh. Um, okay. Uh, uh, don't worry. Doing nothing is, is not bad, ipso facto. Dude, there's that doing nothing again. That doing nothing, I swear, in the script is probably underlined. So interesting. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Good job, man. <laughs> Whoa! There's another Jew, son. Oh, hell no. Okay, oh, wow. I was about to say, dude. I was about to say, man. Ah, uh, I was about to say, that was really gonna tick me off. <laughs> I was gonna be like, dude, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, you might have to kill these two. <laughs> that was insanity. Why did he do that? <laughs> My man is smacked. This dude is smacked out of his mind. <laughs> Yeah, this was probably a terrible time to smoke up, man. What? <laughs> His friend is just as high, bruh. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> you got it. Don't you crack under pressure. Things have been so hard for us. It's okay. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> the levels of hilariousness within him just saying that is just... is good. <laughs> Jorma... <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Be a good boy. <laughs> That's dope. I love that. That was really cool. The quote that he said was crazy. When the truth is to to be lies, when all hope in you dies, then what? That's interesting. <laughs> What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? 
Hey. He's giving him a passing grade. Or is he? I don't know. <laughs> Any decision, I'm fine with, man. <laughs> You've been through hell, bro. Um, y'all better, y'all better get up inside that, um, that shelter. What? What? Oh my goodness, that's where they end it? What? Okay, that is the end to a serious man. Wow, what? Alright everybody, we just got done a serious man. Yo, the way that ended, I was so in tune. I was so in tune with this film that I just... I got so caught off guard. Okay. Um, all right. So what I first and foremost noticed off the bat is the theme that is attached to our character. And this film does a really good job at existentialism and what to do about that. What to do when so much is happening and you're not getting the answers to anything. And... It's, it's like this slope. It's like a, you know, it, there's ups and downs. But it's like, why, right? It's like, why? What's the meaning of all of this? Like, what's the meaning of the ups and downs and everything like that? And what I find to be so fascinating is obviously the, the quote at the beginning, you know, saying, receive everything with simplicity. And how that related to our character who seems to be not really taking things with simplicity, but just not doing much, not really doing anything about uh, certain things. And him getting so caught off guard that things are still happening to him. It's like, hey, I'm not, I'm not trying to play the game, so why am I still getting hit with things as if I was playing this game? But what I written down was, you know, even when you're not doing anything, your actions have consequences. You know, you're you're you not doing anything still has mathematics of its own when it comes to living within the world. And man, that's such a fascinating thing to look at. I hope that's like a little bit of what they were trying to go after. But that's really interesting. And it's even more bizarre with how it ended. Like, I'm probably going to have to look up, you know, the, the meaning of this ending because I feel, like I, I feel like I get it. I feel like I get it. But, man, it really gut punches me. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because, at least to me, I don't know. All right. I don't know. These are all just opinions uh, after watching this. But the ending is almost putting what this character has been going through in the themes within practice towards the audience you know leaving things off on this slope where you don't get any answers you know we don't know what happens when the tornado gets there we don't know what the test results are um but yet we got answers to the previous one and i feel like that is the theme like the cycle keeps going and going and going and going and we even see it to where you know, he didn't even see the last rabbi. It was his son that saw the last rabbi. And even he seemed to not really know for sure. And that's just really fascinating. The quote that he said that was really interesting was, When the truth is to be lies, all hope in you dies, then what? Now, I'm not sure if I either, either read that situation wrong or that was like legitimately the quote that he said because it was kind of like, you know, iffy. But yeah, it's like, then what? And that's how this story kind of left off. It's like, okay, then what? You know, and doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's fascinating. This film does a really interesting, uh, has a very interesting lens when it comes to existentialism, which I find to be really cool. I think that is really, really cool. Guys, I would like to know what your thoughts are on this. Uh, please let me know. I, I, this, is, this was a interesting film. A very interesting film that I really enjoyed. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me see your opinions, your dissection of this film. I would love to read it. Um, like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated. Because we 
We're just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat. 